Let's solve this equation for x and remember your steps for solving. Notice we do have parentheses in this equation, so let's use the distributive property to multiply. On the left side, 4 times 5x, that's 20x, plus 4 times 3 is 12, is equal to 2 times 7x, that's 14x, plus 2 times 6 is 12. All right, we have no terms that can be combined on the left side, none that can be combined on the right side. Let's now take a step and let's move variable terms to the left side and numbers or constants to the right side. So I'll begin by subtracting 14x from both sides. I'm going to rewrite the left side, and I'll rewrite the right side. And now let's subtract 14x on the left side, and let's subtract 14x on the right side. And now let's see what we have. On the left side, 20x minus 14x, that is 6x, I still have plus 12, is equal to 14x minus 14x, that's 0, I still have 12 though. Now notice I have 6x plus 12 is equal to 12. Let's now subtract 12 from both sides of this equation. I'm writing down the left side, I'm writing down the right side, and I'll subtract 12 from the left, and I must also do so on the right. Now let's simplify. On the left I have 6x. On the right, 12 minus 12 is 0. That is a good number. That's fine. We still want to solve for x. Let's divide both sides by the coefficient of x. The left side becomes 1x or simply x. And what is 0 divided by 6? Well, 0 divided by 6 is 0. The solution to this equation is 0. Check by replacing x here and here with 0 and seeing that a true statement results.